All right, so I actually killed both fits I bought for these uh, circuits. This one and the other one got over here. So now both of these have the same fits that I've already had before. Uh, pretty close to what I was going to use, but they're 750 volts uh, max on the drain, right? Otherwise, I think they're actually better switches. So now I've got one of these back on. It's a 75 picofarad. Uh, so basically, since I wound an extra turn on here anyway, I'll use this and hopefully stay around the you know 11 megahertz range, which is where about this runs at. So got this one going now. Let's see. So just to kind of show what I started off with with the same tuning. Can see that when I get this one going like that you can see it's actually not too bad of a gateway form but you see that drain waveform there I have to back the bias down to change that phase shift just a little bit if I back it down enough that I can get I say that that waveform actually looks fairly decent right there Alright, uh, but that gate could use a little more voltage on it, right? So basically, I probably could run this thing like it is. <clears throat> so that's like 35 and about 150 on the drain. So again, not a bad deal. I could probably cut this one up quite a bit, get it to run pretty nice, but... Uh, I just need to tweak this one a little bit more, right? Probably have too much capacitance on the gate, so I need to take, you know, two or three of those off, those one interferons I've got down there. And then I'll go from there. Alright, so now, back at about 26 volts. Now I've got a waveform like this, uh, to where that's what I get. Uh, turning the pot up till I have oscillation. So again, I can back the pot back again like that. But it looks like I'm better off leaving it where it's at. And uh, this is after I took about 33 picofarad off the drain, right? So I'm just going to go take another 33 off, and it looks like that's going to be uh, switching better. But also, I've got a pretty low gate voltage, right? It's actually under 10 volts, so. Basically now, what I've got to do is, I'm just going to pull one of these 33 nanofarad caps off, and then I'm going to pull, uh, I don't know, I might have to pull one or two more of these guys off, and then, uh, I don't know, might play with the gate resistance a little bit, and then uh, that'll probably be it. Alright, so back at 26, and start cutting this thing up again. Alright, so still don't quite have the waveform I want. I suppose I could take that extra 33 off, uh, 33 picofarad off the drain. But I don't know, things look like they yeah, see that they probably change here at the higher voltage, right? So just about 35 right there that actually starts to look not too bad. And pulling about five amps, so I don't know. I might be able to uh, add a little bit more gate resistance there, but I don't know. That <clears throat> it's hard to say what that's going to be pulling up at the higher voltages. And same setup. Cut this one up. So let's see. Well, this one, I'm just going to go ahead and run this at uh, 60. 60. And, uh, yeah, I've lost class E there. But it's not bad for roughly uh, 300 watts. Not a bad little flame, right?
can hear some noise in it coming off this tiny little fan I've got. This fan hardly moves any air. I can't even hardly feel the air it moves, so I don't even know if that's doing anything, but uh, I can't actually hear it in the arc. So again, I'm just going to run this for a little bit and then check the heat just to see how much that's heating up, switching like that. Because uh, if it's heating up too much like that, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to figure something out. Because um, I want the flame to be a little bit bigger than that, right? You know, again, I, I would say that's like not bad. Just for like cool little tabletop demonstrator kind of deal. Uh, but yeah, again, I'm trying to double or triple that for one of these deals. All right, now here's the effect of reducing the coupling, as you can see. So now I've got it basically sitting on the top winding. And what that's done is increase the current consumption just a little bit. And it also looks like that's going to encourage class E uh, once I get up to the higher voltages. So, or let's just say um, I start loading it a little bit right now. So you can see what happens is I load it slightly. Can't load it too much. Uh, but then again, let's just say I start raising the voltage. So again, put it about 50. Well, let me do, again, let me just do 60. So here's 60 again. And now I'm pulling closer to 350 watts. You know, it's a little better than it was before. Waveforms look a little bit better as well. Uh, but again, you know, that was just slightly changing that uh, coupling around. So I might want to play with it a little bit more. Uh, but once again, just going to run that for a little bit. See uh, how hot that thing's getting. So perhaps um, what I can do is raise that coupling just a little bit more and I might be able to reach a point where if I, let's just say if I'm able to raise it like another inch or something like that, then I might be able to pull a little bit more power, still get decent breakouts, and then also be able to crank this up to, uh, I don't know, like 100 volts DC or more and uh, get decent waveforms right but I kind of like that it's it's not bad once again for that uh, wattage so again that's just sort of like the evolution of just tuning around with this thing <clears throat> starting off with what I had before uh, just kind of swapping this different fit on and changing out to that capacitor And let's see, once again, I feel like that should be enough time for me to tell if this cap's getting stupid hot. So, yeah, that cap is getting pretty hot, but it doesn't feel as hot as it would be running off the other circuit. Uh, heat sink, yep, heat sink on here is still cold. Um, so, yeah, I don't think it'll warm up. I think that's a pretty good tuning. But once again, um, I have to play with the coupling so I'm probably at the point now where that's all I'm going to do just play with that coupling a little bit right and I might also reach a point where I decide okay well playing with the coupling along with the gate resistance is going to find me a good ballpark where this will be set up to how I want to run it at the input voltage that I want to run it meanwhile this guy over here can just kind of stay where he's at and I think that's a pretty cool demo that I can get you know maybe five six hundred watts out of